Today on Flat Cap Whiskey, we go head to head. Cast strength versus the original Laphroaic Tens. Poured cast strength in the glasses that are covered. And we have the original Lefroy 10 year old in the uncovered glass. And we're going to compare them both today. Um, so what are your thoughts about which one you want to taste first? Smell, nose, whatever? Probably should go with the original first. Original? Well, the original was my first foray into peated whiskey. Same. Right? I love Lefroy. We both love Lefroy. And it is, as we all know, chill filtered. It's yeah, natural color. It's not chill filtered. It's not the original. The original is chill filtered. It is. Yeah, I believe it is. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me. But I don't believe I'm wrong. I may be mistaken, but I'm never wrong. There, there might be caramel coloring. There's definitely caramel coloring. I don't think there's. I think it's not chill filtered. Because when you compare the two, the they're pretty similar in color, actually. Well, they are, I'm well they're the same thing. Yeah, but one's cast strength. And I'm, I don't think the cast strength is chill filtered nor artificially colored. I can't remember. But the smell is beautiful. You, you can oh, just... no. The, the, the original is barrier filtered only, so it's not chill filtered. Okay. Right. But this one... is chill filtered. That might be... Yeah, you know, doesn't I can say smell it. the brine it and the salt. Say. It's very salty. Rubbery Band-Aid smell. I mean, I always remember myself opening up one of those Johnson & Johnson Band-Aids. That's See, what this smells like. I wish I... I can never get the Band-Aid smell ever. Oh, that's one of the most prominent smells. The Band-Aid, the brine, the salt. Maybe it's because I haven't smelled a Band-Aid in like a couple of years. Because I don't fall. <laughs> when he was a kid, he fell a lot. <laughs> you had Band-Aids all over your body. Maybe you just got numb to the scent. <laughs> I just get brine, salt... Mm. The rubber. Oh, we're going, now we're going right in? Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm doing it my way, you can do it your way. Oh, mm -hmm. what do you have in your hand now? This is cast strength. We need to do them at the same time, because then we're going to get... I'm gonna get, we're gonna get I want to see what it smells Once you start picking it, you're going to start getting confused when it was which, because you just put the cap on the wrong right. one. Okay, I'm impatient. I just want to get... I just want to compare the aromas. I don't want to taste this yet, though. Okay. All right? It makes sense. Mm. I smell a little fruit. It smells mellower. Significantly mellower. Everything's mellower in the cast strength to me. Like I don't get salt or brine. No salt. I don't get any brine. I get a little bit of peat smell maybe. Scent. The earthiness. I get a little bit of like fruit. Well, I think it does have a fruit smell. I get the salt when I do that. Mm. I get like a air conditioner smell from a hotel room in my hands that's what I said last time in the first whiskey we did mm. yeah it smells like someone's been smoking smells the, someone's different... been smoking in the room for too long yeah oh. it's definitely mellower the, 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 the nose the, is significantly mellower the rubber's coming out now I get the salt it's not as it's more briny I get the band-aid I get the Band-Aid now. Go back to the original. I don't get the brine at all. Let me go back to the original. Oh, see now the rubber just comes out and that's all I smell in the original. Or asphalt maybe, like fresh asphalt. It smells significantly different. You get the fresh asphalt like smell? Or like someone's been laying down tar or whatever on top of a, a driveway? You know what I mean? See, so it dissipates really quickly, but if I go back to the cask. I'm going to violate the rule here. I'm going to go back and forth. Hmm. There's definitely a difference. There's definitely a significant difference. That's my cask strength right there. All right. Let's see. Which one are you tasting? 
I am tasting the 10. The 10, okay. This is Lafroy 10 going on in. Mm. Definite salt hits you. Slight brine. Definitely a nice rubber. And it's not the J&J Band-Aid smell flavor. Like this, the aroma, it's actually rubber. It's like, like it's like licking a tire. I don't. Get, I never got the, the taste of the tire. I usually just get like right now. It's just it's just smoldering fire, smoke, earthy. Yeah, I get a little bit of a smoldering fire. I'm getting. Yeah, I'm getting the, the like rubber. The, the rubber is the end. Apparently. The rubber is the end. It's like a really dark black tire rubber. It's a Goodyear tire. It's like Goodyear. Take it to your take your. Have you ever take, tasted? Take, take your Lafroy to your nearest Goodyear and go back and forth. Have you ever tasted a Goodyear tire? Uh, no. No. I smelt it. I can smell them. I don't know. I'm going for the cast strength. Don't finish it because we gotta add a little bit of water. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Significant more salt, more brine. I'm getting more rubber up front. I don't get any smoke anymore. Hmm. I'm not getting any rubber. I got the rubber, the salt. It's delicious. It's, they're both very good. They're different. They they are different. They, they no, are they, they actually are. They're night different. Night and day different. They are different. I don't front. know about night and day. Are they're they, different. You can tell the subtle difference. It's a subtle difference. I think it's a big difference. I think it's two. subtle. There's a different, for me, it's a different flavor profile. Um, the Lafroy 10 Classic, definitely more rubber on the finish. Salt and brine up front. The cast strength, I didn't get any rubber. I got salt and, salt and brine peat more the whole way through. Get more, it's more but it does, they both stay with you. They both last in your mouth right so how much did you put in your how much water did you i put? did like a normal thing for the 10 the original then i did like half of that for the cast strength okay that's regular this is cast strength see now so the original 10 i'm getting like you know we had the hazel burn i got that like pineapple smell mm-hmm that's what I just get right now. Really? Did you add a lot of water? Not this one. Not the original 10. The original 10. This is the original 10. I'm going to add a little bit more water. I just want to see if I can help. Like, I think I'm getting more of a fruitiness now. Let's do the cast drink. Yeah, I get, a, I get a sweet flavor. But that sweet flavor is really associated and tied to the black rubber. You know, it might be more. You know what? Right now, this Maybe. one might this one might be not black rubber, but pencil eraser rubber, pink rubber. I'm gonna smell the after you maybe erase something. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's when you smell it because you yeah. got the friction going. <laughs> Salt. Salt is so prominent in Lafroy. Don't you agree? Yeah. If you love salt, you'll love Lafroy. Salty pretzels. Good. That's what this is. This is right now because we've had these for a little while, so these bottles are coming to the to the bottom. So they have oxidized significantly from when we first got them. So the good the yeah. flavor profile right. is definitely going to change, Not right? Fair. And it did start out when we first opened these bottles, both of them. 
Highly smoky. Yeah. Heavily peated. Well, no. When we opened the cast strength brand new, the smoke wasn't there until we added a little bit of water. Is that right? <laughs> well, the original one definitely had... Hit me. It was a lot of smoke, a lot of peat, salt, brine. See, you know, just that whole seafair atmosphere to it, right? Now that we're tasting them now, as the bottles have, are disappearing, I think it might be. oxidize more. They're much calmer, tamer. Smoke is disappearing. Yeah, the ten smells a little more sweeter right now. I think the cast drank currently with some water in it. Maybe more caramel, brown sugar. I'm smelling a little bit more. No? You gonna choke again? I'm about to laugh. I always laugh when people say, oh, I got caramel, brown sugar. <laughs> or like Ooh. a butterscotch or something. Butterscotch. You know, who will, I, I don't want to taste butterscotch. Butterscotch reminds me of those hard candies stuck to the bottom of my grandmother's candy dish. Are you talking your Werther's? No, Werther's isn't hard candy. Werther's is a hard Werther's candy. Werther's is surrounded by a nice melty milk chocolate. Or dark chocolate. No, it is not. I'm talking about those round no, no. things wrapped in, like the Brock's. The Brock's hard butterscotch candy. Are you, you're That's insane. Gross. A word that is a hard piece of candy. Coated in chocolate. It is not coated in chocolate. No, it is. It melts what, in your do mouth. Do you want to put money on it? <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll bet you 100 bucks. I'm not betting 100 bucks. That's think. how confident I am currently. I'm not betting 100 bucks. I'll bet you a bottle of scotch. Fine. That's 100, 100 bucks right there, too. So... Yeah, you have to put a limit on how much money I'm spending on a scotch for him. Especially since he's had my Lafroy cast strength for like a month. It's literally been sitting on that shelf. And he didn't know. <laughs> it wasn't here. Yes, it was. Yeah. I think if... Together... You can easily tell them apart. But if you gave... If you, if you had them like one at a time... Mm -hmm. I think it might be a little harder. Like right now, I can, I can like probably say one of them's better than the other. But when you have them both separated for a long period of time, they come become kind of similar. The cast strength separates itself because of the alcohol content, mm -hmm. right? Because that's very that, even when adding the water in this little amount that we poured, you can really taste the heaviness in the alcohol. All right, it kind of. Brightens it up. It brightens it up in your mouth. Adds extra little punch to it. Um, the flavor profile in the beginning was a little bit different. Now that my mouth is getting numb from both of them, I really can't tell the difference anymore. But the salt brine was heavier in the regular Lafroy. The rubber Band-Aid, black Band-Aids, black rubber smell, definitely, and flavor, definitely in the cast strength earlier on. But anyway... So which what would you? So my favorite of these two is definitely I I put my whole hearted choice behind the Freud Ten Cast Strength. Now we also got to say though, if you live outside the U.S., if you live in the U.K. or Scotland, that the Ten is lower APV. The regular Ten. The regular Ten. That's a forty, right? Or forty? I have no idea. This is forty-three. I think it's like forty in. I don't know, laddie. Why don't you tell me a little more about the which UK? Is, which is why they prefer... <laughs> pretty good. This is why I prefer <laughs> Castre. Sorry, everyone who lives across the pond. But, uh... No, they think we live across the pond. No, they're across the pond. With the maps. We don't really care what's across the pond. We're yeah. Americans. We don't know anything about Scotland. No. It's not that we don't know anything. We don't care. It's Europe. Who cares? Who cares? They, it's all about us. <laughs> Anyway, so what do you think about the whiskey? I just told you. I think the cast strength is where I, what is what I prefer. I think it tastes better. I like the higher alcohol content. I love the smells of dark black rubber. I love the flavor of the dark black rubber. I love the Band-Aid smell. I love the brine, the salt, how they all come together over time. And at different times, they hit your palate. The Laphroaig 10 Classic, still, it's a, it's a go-to. I love it. It's not much different other than the alcohol content. And over time, it has dissipated in its punching aroma for smokiness, peatiness, 
brininess, salt still up in front. That's my thought. And yourself? Pretty much the same as I think. I like the smoke, the peatiness of the, well, I think more brininess of the, of the 10 cask strength. But now, Sam, I'm not gonna like say like this is like what forty something dollars. This is uh, eighty bucks. If you can save it, no. Every, yes, it is. The cash strength. Cash strength is eighty bucks. I thought it was more than that. Well, depending, wait, eighty, ninety bucks. All right, whatever. Save the extra money to get the the cash strength, but if you can't, the normal is fine. Right, you're not gonna find the cash strength everywhere. But you'll find the Freud 10 almost anywhere. I think I'm gonna find the cast strength pretty much everywhere. All the you time. must shop more than me. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To say about this, but if I was to give it a, I'm gonna give it a mark, a my mark, not a malt mark. Malt marks, you know, 80. What does 80 mean? 90 mean? It doesn't mean anything. Either is your zero to 100. My mark is gonna be zero to 10. We're going to put it in a regular thing everybody knows about, right? Perfect 10 is Bo Derek, right? According to the movie. This isn't a 10. Right? I'm over his head because he didn't, he wasn't alive in the 1980s. However, that's where you get that, how do you rate somebody? One to 10. I'm going to rate this like an eight and a half. The cast strength, I'm going to rate like a nine. Regular eight and a half. This one around a nine. Well, what, what would you consider a, a midway point? A five and a six B. Not terrible, but a five. It's like it doesn't really do anything for you. You're not like this is disgusting in a. But five. does a six mean it's bad? No, I mean it's above average. Five would be the middle. Six would be right there. Why are you gonna go? Are you going that low? No, why would I go that low? I just want to make. We got to make sure your scale. Is, we know your scale. That's my scale. I'm gonna. I'm not using mall marks anymore because they're meaningless. I like the mall mark. I know but it's too high. It's too high of a number. People can't relate to oh, 90, 89. Come on, <laughs> one to ten we all know. Water's a zero, right? I give the cast strength an A plus and A. <laughs> He's got his own ranking system. No, but when we go back to hockey no, rankings. No, I'd, I'd, I'd still say though it would be even a. I'd probably say eight and a half, nine. Nine being the cask, eight and a half. Yeah, so we agree. I might even go higher a little bit, like an 8.6. 8. 8.6. 8. So that's where we are. That's where I'm at with it. My my favorite is the cask strength, Lefroig 10. Mm -hmm. That's where I would go. And if you have any comments, any choices that you think are different, let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Just right. so you know you get notified. Anyway, next video, we have a special, special blindfold taste test. I know what it is. He doesn't. So I guess the joke's on me. So until next time, cheerio.